Hey guys, it's Greg Jones for Engine Builder Magazine. We are here in Houston, Texas, checking out a couple local shops. First one up is H Squared Racing. We're gonna be talking with owner Halston Harris. And uh, it's pretty hot here in the Houston heat, so let's stop standing out here. Let's go inside and check out this cool shop. When you purchase SBI valve train components, that blue and yellow box represents 40 years of industry knowledge, R&D, quality that exceeds OEM standards, and outstanding customer service, as well as a dedicated team, ready to help no matter your application needs. That's how SBI keeps engines humming. All right, guys, I'm here with H-Squared Racing Engines owner, Halston Harris. Halston, thanks so much for having us in. Thanks for coming in, Greg. Yeah, I know uh, you and I have chatted over the years, yes, and have. it's been a little while since we last spoke, uh, but super happy to come down and see the shop yeah. in person. Yeah, it's uh, nice to finally meet you. It's, yeah, it's right. been a while since we did our first interview with you. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. We did an Engine of the Week a while yep. back, and uh, uh, glad to be here in person and see the shop. It's always cool to... Uh, yep put a face to the name and, and see exactly what you guys got going on. We're happy to have you all here for sure. Yeah. So if you could, uh, you know, we're going to tour the shop and, and show the folks, you know, what all you guys got going on. But okay. Give the guys uh, an idea of your background and kind of how the shop came to be. Um, my background, I started doing this um, at home with my dad, started working on cars, got into engines and worked at a machine shop up in DFW area Okay, uh, is how it started. When I was working there, one of the kids that worked there went to school down here in Houston. So Sam Tech is a school that everybody yep. knows about down here in Houston and moved down here to go to school. It was a two year school. I did it in a year, lived in a, lived okay. in a little camper, yeah. uh, doubled up, did it in about 11 months. Okay. And while I was here, I started working for Eric Koenig uh, when it used to be called HKE. That's how I really got to learn a lot about the engine. That's my background is kind of late model GM, LS, things like that. Sure. So that's when I started this company. It was kind of founded on the LS platform. And then we just, we morphed into doing all kinds of stuff. We do a lot of inline yeah. six, two JZs. Okay. Um, I, I stayed here doing this. I've got a guy that works for me that was my mentor at Eric's. Um, and we've just continued to evolve with the platforms we work on from Cadillacs to Toyota to a lot of the Nissan platforms. And I've been doing this for almost 13 years. Yeah. Uh, I lived in my front office here at the shop for about four years and um, just kind of did what I needed to to figure right, it out. Right. I'm not a businessman, but uh, we enjoy doing this. So over the years, we've just kind of grown this into what it is. Uh, and like I was saying, this room wasn't even here. My dad, uh, is, as a builder, helped me build this, helped me build the upstairs that's on top is our cylinder head department. Okay. Um, so we've just, as we've grown, as you can see, we've got more engines that we can handle in here as it is. We need a bigger facility. Yeah. Uh, we're, we're slowly growing to that as well. But um, we've just, we, we've gotten to where we do anything from late model Ford, Chevrolets, um, Cadillacs, Toyotas, um, pretty much messed with all of it now. Um, we have our cookie cutter, our bread and butter GM and Ford. That's, that's a huge market and we do a lot of that. But sure. um, we, we've just grown it into doing what we like to do. Yeah. So we enjoy it. It's what we want to keep doing. Yeah. And, so we, we build the engines we want. That's awesome. So, no, you said you've been around now 13 years. So yes, sir. Congrats on that. You don't yeah. get there by accident. You know, it's no, a, no, it's not uh, an accident. It's a lot of hard work, and uh, means you're doing something right too. Yeah. So yeah. So Halston, let's uh, let's check some stuff out. You know, okay. we're here in the assembly room. You know, yeah. let us know if there's any engines that you just want to point out as we're walking through. Um, but we certainly want to see the machine area. Yeah, too. so that's where we do all of our assembly. Um, it's our clean room. It's sealed off. It's climate controlled, um, and so we we try to keep. Two engines per table. We're a little over, um, overgrown in here as far as engine capacity, but we do a lot of late model Ford. Uh, we sleeve a lot of Coyotes and modular blocks, yeah. and we do a lot of late model GM. We sleeve a lot of LS blocks. So it's a big market that we do. A lot of Darton sleeving. Darton stands behind us. We do a lot of that. Um, speaking of Darton, this is we don't do a lot of Cadillacs, but this is a customer came to us with a Cadillac. This is a 2.0 out of an ATS okay. um, car and. Didn't wanted to do a bigger bore, wanted to do a custom build, wanted to set some records, and we started looking at sleeve options from Darton. And this sleeve was actually from some Nissan. So it's like 
from a Nissan SR20 block. Interesting. And so we found out that the bore size was close and we actually had to modify the sleeves. Yeah. So there's a flat in between. And so we, we figured out what it was gonna take. We made sure the block could handle the bore size for the OD of the, the liner. Yeah. And we've modified everything to fit. So these sleeves are actually ready to go in the block. And if we want, I wanna move over here to this big block if we can. So we don't just do late model engines. We, this, is a, this is a big block we've already finished. I'm gonna take this bag off. So nice. we still do old school. I, I yeah. came from a shop. We did a lot of old school big blocks and small blocks. So I kind of have a passion for big block Chevys. I like big cubic inch motors. Sure. This is a 540 we did for a customer. It's gonna go in a 69 Camaro. Uh, so just a street rod, nothing yeah. too fancy. Made a little over 800 horsepower on the engine dyno. Cool. Uh, we do engine dyno a lot of our engines. Um, and so this is a nothing custom, but just a very nice, nicely put together. Customer didn't really spare any expense. Um, we, we built it up. It's got over 10 to one compression on pump gas that made over 800 horsepower. Yeah. So it's just, it's going to be a fun toy in a old car. Yeah. No well, and maybe you guys can see a little bit more details uh, on our engine of the week on this particular yep. build. Right? Yeah. Yeah. We can do something like that. All right. And then out here in the shop, we, we do everything here in house. Um, from machining to tear down, uh, we keep a lot of inventory. So this is everything here in the back of the shop is all of our machine area. Um, we have grown over the years and we've, we've upgraded to new CNC machines. Um, yeah. We've got newer computer digital balancing machines for the crankshafts. So this, we do a lot of work on this machine. It does our general machining from boring and decking and clearancing. It'll also machine a block um, to accept the sleeves we were talking about in the assembly room. So okay. an iron block is about to get machined out for these Darton sleeves and it's yeah. all going to get done on here. Okay. Um, and so this is kind of, this was, this was a big step for me. This was a yeah. very big expense for me. And as we grew, I knew I wanted one and we were able to get one. And it was about five years ago we bought this. Okay. And, and what kind of machine is this? Uh... This is an A-Trump machine, just okay. like, it's basically the same thing as a Centroid frame. Okay, yeah. Um, but yeah. It's, it's a custom control. It's basically a Fanuc control. Okay. Um, just a four axis CNC machine. So it's got a rollover. Um, and so it's not the typical Centroid or Rottler, but it is, it's, uh, Centroid's made on the same frame. Yeah. Essentially. Yeah. No, it so, definitely looks similar. But that's yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, that's a big deal when you get a machine like that. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so, it, was, it was big for us. Austin, how many square feet uh, total do you guys have? We here? only so, have, we're just under 4,000 square feet total okay. um, for our shop. Uh, it's small. We've definitely outgrown it. You can see we've used pallet racks to, yeah. for storage. This is all of our active inventory we can sell. Okay. And so we've just gone up. We, yeah. We've stored up as far as we can. Um, that doesn't cost us money, you know, additional real estate does. So we're saving our money. We want to, we want to buy our own place. That's our goal is buy our own lot. Yeah. Uh, build a building eventually. These racks over here, this is all of our active customers projects, the forklifts in the way, but I mean, so everything on these racks are tagged. This is everything we have currently in progress. We've got over 65 some odd projects currently in backlog right now. And, um, we just, we need good help. Yeah. <laughs> if we could find some good help, that would be great. But yeah. Engine Quest, your home for new OE type replacement and performance engine parts and cores. For our full line of products, visit enginequest.com or call 1 800 426 8771. Engine Quest, the name you trust for engine parts, cores, and recycling. So, this is the rest of the machine shop. Yeah. We do everything from a line honing the blocks. This is actually a neat old 302 Ford with uh, an internal oil pump. So very, very rare block, but we align hone everything. We do billet caps. Um, this is our cylinder hone. Yeah. It's a older sun and machine, but we do torque plates on everything. We make our torque plates if we don't have them. Okay. And so we do all of our cylinder honing here. That's just an old rod hone, another sun and machine. So we do a lot of rod honing, piston honing uh, to fit the pistons or resize the big ends of the rods. Yeah. Uh, and then that's our, our newer machine for crankshaft balancing. Okay. So that does all of our crankshaft balancing. We can balance other things as well, primarily crankshafts. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. These are just typical. You got the mill. Yep, typical yeah. mill and yeah. lathe. We make our yeah. own parts, our own tools. We Gotta modify things. Those, yeah, it's you can do anything you want with these two machines. Yeah. Um, and so that's, in a nutshell, that's pretty much our shop as far as machining goes. We've got an upstairs area, like I talked about. That's our whole cylinder head department. Okay. Um, we, we do everything from tear down. We've got a few machines up there as well. We do uh, cylinder head porting. 
So this is our cylinder head department upstairs. We do everything from our disassembly, our final assembly. We have machines. We do all valve grinding with a sun and centerless valve grinder as well. We've got all the latest and greatest from Buxton, the spring compressors. Uh, yeah. We can check all the springs. We can input this data to computers. We can save all the record for our customers. You know, so Very this cool. is this is kind of a neat. This, this is an Austin Healy head that came in. And we wanted to check all the springs, so we need to know where the heights are of the springs to know if they're if they're beyond mm -hmm. um, their wear limit. So yeah. we checked all the springs. We had to get new springs. So these are the equipment that we can use to do that. Yeah. But yeah, this, this is just our cylinder head department. This is something else that my dad helped me build. We all we just utilized to build up. <laughs> so. Yeah. Now, when it comes to doing any type of machine work on cylinder heads, do you guys do some of that in house, or do you send stuff out, or? We, we do, we surface the heads in house. Okay. We can do valve jobs, grind valves. We don't do any CNC porting, mm -hmm. um, but we'll do top fuel hoops on a lot of the big boosted applications. We do that in house. We yeah. make the hoops, okay. we machine the heads for it. Um, we can surface that. We got a surfacer downstairs and then we do all, that's our kind of our dirty room. We do a lot of hand, hand porting in there if we need to. Mm -hmm. uh, customer specializes, wants a custom port done, tailored to their application, we'll do that. Most of the time nowadays, we'll do one port, we'll have it digitized, and we'll have somebody CNC the rest of the head for us. Okay. And yeah. eventually, we want to get into five axis. That's that's yeah. the goal. Yeah. Just takes more time. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So. Absolutely. Very cool. Halston, anything else about the shop that uh, you want to highlight or just mention to the folks uh, at uh, home watching? No, not really. I mean, it's my livelihood. This yeah. is uh, this is what we love doing. Been doing it for a long time. It's been doing it all my life almost. So. Yeah. So it. you mentioned a few things just about growth and you know stuff that comes with more years in business. Uh, what do you think's next for you guys? Is it is it another machine first, or do you think it's another space first? No, next yeah. is we've been saving our money. Mm -hmm. um, our next thing is to buy a, a piece of land and mm -hmm. then build a building. That's okay. that's what we've got to do next. Yeah. So our next growth is going to be moving out of here, getting a place that we can continue to grow the business as far as size and employees and be comfortable. Yeah. So we've way outgrown this. We've been outgrown here for probably three or four years. Yeah. And so now our next move is going to be to buy a small piece of commercial property and build a building Yeah. and try to continue to grow the business. Very cool. Very so cool. That's our plan. Awesome. All right, guys. Well, we hope you enjoyed that tour of H squared racing engines. Want to thank Halston again. Yep. Thanks hey, for having appreciate me. Appreciate it. For yeah. By. Great to see the shop. Absolutely. Make sure you guys are checking out everything that he's got going on here at H squared racing engines. And as always, make sure you're checking out EngineBuilderMag.com for more great engine content. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time.